AITAH for not letting my daughter sleep over at a friend's house. The beginning of my daughter's sixth grade year, 2021, a new girl moved to town. We will call her Ruth. Her parents had recently divorced and she moved here with her mother. My daughter quickly became friends with her and I noticed my daughter coming out of her shell more. Being less shy, more outgoing. I was happy for her to have made a new friend that she was close so quickly with. The friendship quickly turned into best friends. The girl began coming over to our house for sleepovers on the weekends as kids do. They would hang out at the park together in town. She eventually asked to go over to her house to hang out and I said yes. She knew it would just be hanging out during the day as I really didn't know her mother well. My daughter got in the car and told me how much she liked hanging out over there and then proceeded to tell me their roaches crawling on the floor in the girl's bedroom, then asked if she could stay the night sometime. I told her no and explained to her why and said that her friend is always welcome to come stay at our home. BFFs continue. No harm, no foul. Fast forward to 7th grade year. Still BFFs. This is great. Especially since girls are so awful to each other all the time in junior high. Her mom has a work trip and has to travel out of state for a few days during the school week. She asked if her daughter could stay with us. My husband and I agreed that it would be fine and she stayed with us for a few days while her mom was out of state. Still BFFs. Now it's the middle of 7th grade year, around January, 2023. Her mom, 46 years old, started dating a new guy, 50 years old. This guy's fiancé had recently left him for another guy. We will call him John. I live in a dominantly Republican area if this gives you any idea of the people I'm dealing with slash talking about. Anyways, they fall in love and she moves in with John within six months of dating each other. Approximate May 2023. Her son decides to move back with his dad. Her other daughter moved in with a boyfriend, she is over 18. So, just the mom and daughter move in with him and his son, irrelevant. Summer 2023 It is suddenly unfair that Ruth is always coming over to our house, but my daughter never goes over there. My husband, 37 years old, and I, 35 he, agree that it is okay for her to go over there. John had just recently putting up an above-ground pool. We don't have a pool. It's summer. I get it. She goes over there plenty of times, I let her stay late as we just live about a mile or two down the road. John starts building us cabin, has a great outlook over the pool. This is basically a cabin slash pool house thing up 12 feet above the pool, but kind of to the side. My husband and I think it's super weird, but whatever, they continue hanging out back and forth at one another's houses. Ruth continues to stay over a lot. In the midst of all of this and my daughter meeting John she informs me that John thinks my daughter is a liar. Of course I asked why. John thinks that because my daughter will not look him in the eye when she speaks to him. My daughter is shy and has a lot of anxiety. I told her that she is not required to look him in the eye if she doesn't want to. It's her choice. John now has a say in what Ruth wears. He is not allowing her to wear short shorts anymore because it will give off the wrong impression to men dressing that way. Same with tops as far as her chest and stomach. I don't mean extreme stuff either. I mean if she has a shirt that touches her pants, but when she lifts up her arms it shows her stomach it is not allowed. I also really don't care how people choose to allow slash not allow their children to dress, it is just that she was previously allowed to wear these things. She is also no longer allowed to hang out in her room alone, she has to hang out with her family in the living room. Fast forward to a couple of months ago. Still BFFs. My daughter asked for Ruth to stay over. Of course, it's fine with my husband and I. However, Ruth cannot stay over because it is now unfair that Ruth always stays at our house and my daughter never stays there. My daughter asked me if she could spend the night over there. She informed me that if she was not able to spend the night over there, then they wouldn't be able to hang out anymore. I figured it was just two teenagers making stuff up to be able to stay somewhere. I always used to do it when I was a kid, all kids do it. I asked my daughter if she wanted to stay there. She was upset and said yes, because if she doesn't then they won't be able to be friends. She said so if she has to do it to be friends with Ruth, then she will. My daughter does not even use public restrooms slash school restrooms. The only place she will go to the restroom is at home. My husband and I talked it over and did not allow her to stay because of how he openly talks shit about our daughter, and if you've read above, it's giving narcissist. We explained all of this to our daughter. Later that night there is a knock on our door. It's Ruth mom and John. They asked if they could talk to us. John asked if we called him a pedophile. We didn't. We explain this. Convo continues. Not a heated convo, just a normal convo. They continue to talk to let us know that they don't drink or anything but they are facing misdemeanor charges for fighting another girl's parents in the 8th grade class at a poker run for a fundraiser a few months ago but it wasn't their fault. Then John asks if I bought Ruth a tank top recently. It was a spaghetti strap. 
John tells my husband and I that Ruth isn't allowed to wear those because soon they will be freshmen in high school and all of the seniors have a bet to see how many freshmen they can fuck and the ones dressed like that will be the easiest targets, blood boils. I informed John politely but sternly that girls should not have to worry about how they are dressed, parents should be teaching the boys how to behave properly and obtain consent. John also defended a sex offender that was charged for molesting a girlfriend's daughter who is disabled and cannot speak or talk for herself. John defended him and said technically, she wasn't a minor. And he is a good guy. IDC about sex offenders and I do believe in rehabilitation, but a crime is a crime. Long convo. Basically chit-chatting about our kids. It ended with them telling us that our daughter is always welcome to stay and we said thanks and they left. Now, Ruth is no longer allowed to hang out with my daughter. Ruth has to ride the bus and cannot get rides home with us because it's US. They are not allowed at the park together. She's not allowed here. This is per John and Ruth's mom. They had graduation and Ruth had to make sure John didn't catch her talking to me. I obviously want my daughter to be happy. She has not given me an attitude about any of this. She has gotten upset and cried and just told me that she would do it if she had to because she doesn't want to lose her friend. She wants to have a good summer but John gives me the creeps and narcissist vibes. I also feel like it's a control thing for him. NTA keep your child away from these people. She will get other friends, but if something happens she will never get that back. My kid is in 7th grade and I do not let her sleep out. I tell everyone this. Her friends are always welcome to sleep, but there's no exception, she will stay home in her bed. She can go to her friend's house I pick her up at 6 p.m. I don't plan on changing that either even if my husband disagrees with me. I wasn't allowed to sleep out neither is she. John already seems to be gaslighting your daughter, and it's a matter of time before he fools crap in her head about you too. They don't control the narrative you do. Do what your gut tells you. You're the parent you know better. You protect your child, not the other way around. You know what's best for your child, and if something makes her uncomfortable, everyone should respect that instead of trying to force her. NTA, this gives huge predator vibes, and I would. Or allow my daughter around this man. You need to sit down with your daughter and have a conversation about why she is not allowed to sleep over there so she understands. This is a really hard situation and it really sucks for your daughter to lose her friend, but it also isn't because of you or your family at all, you need to keep her safe, she could be a target because of her shyness, some nefarious adults see that as an easy victim. He's already painting your daughter as a liar, that is a burning red flag. NTA. This man does not sound safe for your daughter, nor even Ruth, to be around. Your gut seems to be telling you this, and everything you described is deeply concerning. Him randomly asking if you called him a pedophile. He's facing misdemeanor charges for fighting another girl's parents. His controlling behavior and fixation on what your daughter is wearing. His sexualization of your daughter. That he would not only bring up a sex offender who specifically assaulted his girlfriend's daughter, but to argue it was acceptable since she wasn't a minor. This man sounds like he's potentially amping up to molest one or both of the girls. This goes beyond having narcissist vibes, and you need to be making your daughter's safety a priority. You need to educate her on predatory behavior and how to keep herself out of harm's way at this stage. You will be the AH if you allow this man anywhere near your daughter.